Hello there, and welcome to Georgian England, where everyone and everything smells of poo. Any British school child will tell you that you do not learn about the Georgian period in school here. We start at medieval England, we go all the way up to the Georgian era, which started in 1714, we skip over it, we do the Industrial Revolution, and then we carry on through history. Why is that? Because we were pretty much the bad guys during the Georgian period, and so I think we sort of sweep that bit of history underneath the rug. Let's start with, why were we called the Georgians? That is because we had King George, followed by King George, followed by King George, followed by... Oh, who was the last one? Oh yeah, King George. So we were called the Georgian Era. Makes sense, doesn't it? So let's start with King George I. So King George I started the House of Hanover, and the people of England didn't really like him very much. Why? Because he was German and didn't speak a word of English. You can see why this isn't a great start to being the King of England. King George II is always remembered as the mean one, the bad one, because he wanted England to be constantly at war. Although, really in his defence, he was the last English monarch to ever lead the troops into battle. But of course King George II's reign isn't going to last forever, and he did come to an end when he died on the toilet. Well, he was number two. King George III, my personal favourite, because he was absolutely bonkers. I mean, they had doctors from all around the world to try and cure him. And then his son, King George IV, took the throne, and he spent all of England's money on food and fashion. So why were we so hated during this time period? Well, we were doing this little thing that we found great, the rest of the world didn't really like, called colonization. Well, we were coming from our tiny little pissy island, sailing around the world, going to huge countries and continents, stepping land on the soil and going, oh yes, I think we'll have this, we own this now. And when the people would say to us, well, we kind of live here, so we'd go, well, do you have a flag? Because we do, and that's how the game of flag works, so this is ours now. Of course, a lot of people didn't really like that, and so we were going to war with everyone. Of course we're fighting, boo the French, boo, but we're always fighting the French so not much change there. And of course we were fighting the revolting Americans as well. I mean things were great in 18th century England if you were white, straight, Christian, male and rich. So not much has changed. Now you're probably thinking, Jack, you tell me at the beginning everything smelled of poo and you still really haven't explained that point? Well, here comes the explanation. Obviously the toilet still hadn't been invented, so we had the old reliable bucket where all the family would piss and poo into the same bucket and then every morning and night the youngest member of the family would chuck this out the window into the streets while shouting, Gardaloo! Which was really bad French for watch out water. Some sexy bucket. Oh. Yeah, I'm bringing oh. sexy bucket. Damn good bucket. Yeah, get this bucket, yeah. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> there's more! <gasps> there's a f***ing cabbage! If you buy our bucket today... And cabbage. And cabbage, we will throw in... Cholera! cholera. <coughs> 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 so imagine! All of London chucking their shit out onto the street is going to cause a bit of a build up. So much build up, in fact, that we had a foot of sewage running through the streets of London. Which is why gentlemen used to carry perfumed handkerchief to their noses and ladies used to waft away the bad smell with a fan. So, in order to communicate with the man across a crowded room, you can use your handy dandy mobile communication fan, touch it to your right cheek. And it suggests, sir, I'm most definitely interested. However, touch it to your left cheek. No chance in hell, sir. But my personal favourite, drop it down to your side. You've put him in the friend zone. Could he? Come on, don't, don't friend zone me. You know, you're rich, I'm rich. I'll be dead soon. Let's get married. Excellent. Let's elope. But the people didn't help the situation either, because they believed the doctor's advice of do not allow your skin to come in contact with water. I'm not kidding at this point, they were told that washing was unhygienic. Got anything to get rid of this cough though? Actually I do. 
<clears throat> you just need to drink your own piss. Sounds great, mate. Lead. I'll get right on oh, top oh, of oh, that. Actually, 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 here is one I made earlier. Oh, fucking great. On the house. Oh. Oh, oh. We did have some amazing inventions as well because we were the age of enlightenment. We had the first chocolate bar. Chocolate! 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 We also had a time of wigs, corsets, makeup, and heels, which the men wore. We also had the first prime minister in all of history. His name was Robert Walpole, although prime minister was actually an insult. And so the first prime minister of England said, Don't call me prime minister. So the first prime minister of England didn't want to be called the first Prime Minister of England. But my favourite invention from the Georgian era had to be the coffee house. Oh my gosh, this is the coffee shop. Oh, you can barely smell the pots in here. All right there, fellas, what can I get for you? It's like it's trying to talk to us. Speak, peasant. It's, it's okay, I speak fluent peasant. I would like one coffee. All right, fella. I'll have a tea. Tea? You walk two weeks to get to the coffee shop. Yes, and I'm a slut for tea. Tea? He'll have a tea. No problem with ordering tea, but problem. So, what's going on is that we're still waiting for the orders to come in. Can you wait? I'm all right to wait. How long would I be waiting? Six to eight months. Six to eight months? I would just have a coffee. He'll have a coffee too, good sport. Right. Anyway, Spencer, I wanted to talk to you about... I'm just super worried about this colonisation of skin that's happening all over. All right, what blend do you want? What sort of blends do you have? We got coffee. We'll have two coffees then. Coffee, coffee flavoured coffees. coffees. Do you ever wonder if maybe they'll get fed up and start fighting back, maybe start revolting? What sizes are you after? What, what sizes do you have? We got standard. Two standard coffees. Right, no worries, fella. Back in a minute. What's wrong? What, what are you thinking is wrong with the coffee? I just think that maybe one day this might come back and bite us in the ass. That maybe the rest of the world thinks we're the bah I don't want to get your orders mixed up. So what's your names? Spencer. Right, how do you spell that? S P. What do you know about it? Slow it down there. S. How do you spell that? Just a dot. Just put a dot. Your name. Mark. I'm just gonna draw his stupid ass. Yeah. Hat, cool. Hat. I'm good. Triangle hat. Do you ever wonder if we're the bad guys? We're not the bad guys. No, but do you ever think that maybe people don't like us? Everybody loves to be colonised. It's true. I love the fix. He has it. Oh, 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 what? What man? Uh, <laughs> what is this? When should the establishment get her out of here? A woman in a public space. Sorry about that, fellas. Oh, I'm sorry. Women. 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 Right? Right. Understand that. Right, there's yours, fella. And there's yours, Dot. Enjoy your nice hot cup of coffees. It's, it's not particularly nice. That's a hot cup of coffee. Spencer, this isn't very hot. Enjoy your cup of coffee. I don't think this is coffee. All right then, lads. You enjoy your cup. Oh, Spencer, don't do it. Oh my I won't take any of that from you, peasant. <gasps> mate, I swear I would... What? You'll do what, mate? Mate, I'm gonna go home and beat my wife because I can't f***ing touch you like can I? That's right! Ugh, sit down, Mark. No, no, Spencer, I'm leaving. This is the worst establishment You're right. I've ever been in. We should start our own coffee house back at Pipe Place. We've got Spencer Starbucks. Maybe just Spencer coffee. Yeah, Starbucks coffee will make it catch on.